Hey guys, my name is Lovis, and we are back with um, Soul Set. So we're just gonna continue on with this. Um, I would have actually uploaded another one sooner, but I've been having internet problems off and on. I don't know what's going on with the internet. Um, I keep calling them internet people complaining, I guess. And then it works, and it don't work, then it works, and then it's just so weird. So, but I'm, I can at least record when my internet's at least being good, so I'll just do that. Yeah. So, uh, let's go back to this. So, well, we're still mostly strangers to one another. I admit having some kind of weakness, uh, weak, weakness can be a gamble. I'm not even surprised that Empress kept quiet about this all this time. Well, whatever the case may be, I sincerely doubt that you could have been any worse off than I am. And nobody used to take their advantage yet, so. Sure, you really are hurt, aren't you? Excuse me? It just occurred to me that none of us actually saw that wound of yours, well, except Marco. Marco, uh, which is shady on its own. Which is, should be better than any girl's uh, check up on you. Than and having another. Which should be better than. Better to have another girl check up on you. Yeah. If you think I'm lying about being wounded. You think I'm lying about being wounded. Uh, hey, easy. It's uh, just a thought. So I wanted to make sure. Uh, I assure you that the wound is real. Why would you lie about that? I don't, I don't know. To play the victim, it's easier to trust someone who looks weak and helpless, don't you think? Does she look weak and helpless to you? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Put that fork down. You really look too much into everything, Shara. What if Miss Shara was actually a detective in disguise? Or... Did you just read too many of those novels? Hey, it's not my fault. I'm getting all these kind of ideas. Brain the brain. <laughs> Blame the brain. Uh, do you fantasize about such things often? Define such things. A great uh, mystery to unravel. Nothing as it seems. Uh, contradicting lies at every corner. People deceive just waiting for the right moment to strike. Is that what you wish to happen here? Ooh. For the record, you are all making it especially creepy. Cut it out. Here's another theory. Sleepover party gone wrong. What if the truth is actually not that complicated? I think so. What if, yeah, it, it's, it's not going to be that complicated. It could be just this. It could be something simple. Like keeping as a kiss theory. Keep it simple and stupid. Because not everyone has it super complicated. Maybe nobody's actually lying about anything and everything is exactly what it seems. Crazy, I know. Impossible. I wouldn't believe it for a second that Marco doesn't remember anything. Well, I do remember some things, but most of them won't really help us at all. Things like what? Things like to concur up fire, for instance. Here. Oh, so cool. Marco just made a flame appear out of nowhere. Wow. You're a human torch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fantastic for reference. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And useless. <laughs> Still kind of cool, though. Well, if this mansion goes up in flames, well, now we know who to blame. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the food. It was delicious. You're welcome. So, who's doing the dishes? Uh, the one who's axing? <laughs> Very funny. I'm not your mate. You kind of look like one. I wouldn't mind doing them. It's the least I can do for such a wonderful meal. No, you mean, girl, you sit down. Now you're making me feel bad. <laughs> Come on, I'll help. 
You're wounded. You shouldn't exert yourself either. I can handle something small as doing the dishes. Thanks. Damn, you guys. Give me those. <laughs> yeah, I was just giggling too. Okay, Miss Shara sure can be cute sometimes. I agree. She's just too easy to provoke. <laughs> Well, while Miss Shara is doing dishes, uh, would anyone like to have some tea or coffee? I appreciate some coffee. Likewise. I'd like some tea, please. And tea for me, too. The green time, if there is any. Got it. What about you, Miss Marco? Mm, tea. Tea sounds good. Coming right up. The drinks uh, will be actually a good addition there's something i wanted to want you all to talk about before we get up and leave oh all right so shara was the last person we found in the mansion so we are all present uh when Ampress uh carrying her upstairs but I like to know which of us woke up first and who did they find and where. Oh? What's the point in that? What's the point of that? The point is to establish if everyone's telling you the truth, Empress. I actually agree. I like to know what everyone has to say as well. Well, has to say to that as well. Marco, you found me down down in the basement and you told me that there were other people in the mansion. So, I couldn't have been the first one to find. I believe I was the first conscious person, yes. Where did you wake up? In the front yard. I was cold when I woke up. After noticing the barrier, I went inside the mansion. The first person I stumbled upon was Yuvino and Empress. They were both unconscious in the library. That's right. Mr. Mar Mr. Marco shook me awake. Uh, we got to talk in a short moment, and then he tried to. Uh, he told me to try to get Mr. Empress. Uh, then he left. That's when I went down to the basement. I talked with Mr. Empress and how we couldn't remember anything. I can confirm that. I think a couple minutes passed by before Miss Shara walked into the library on her own. Yep, uh, you two were the first uh, people I saw. Uh, not after, not long after Marco came running back up to us and he said that he found another person, uh, but they had passed out on him. That's where you got carried up the stairs. After that, Marco left the basement again and Empress went to investigate the barrier. Even though and I stayed in the hall and you know the rest of it since we woke up next week's next to us. All right. I'd like to point out that there is one thing in our uh, confession that puzzles me though. Yes? I also woke up in the front yard. You did? And I saw no Marco every anywhere. Meaning that you had to have waken up and leave before I did. You never mentioned seeing me there. Because I didn't. Are you sure about that? I believe it was hard to miss a heap of pink smoke scrawled on the ground. Especially when I woke up uh, laying pretty much close to the fountain, I was definitely far away behind those spooky trees. Are you sure you didn't outright ignore me for whatever reason that you might have had? I assure you, I woke up in the front yard all by myself. If you're if you're accusing me of lying, do you have any proof that you're the you're not the one lying? Who's lying? Maybe you actually woke up first and ignored me on purpose. These two... <laughs> Everest man, request some popcorn. <laughs> okay, that's enough. If you don't stop, I'll poke someone's eye out. Um, 
you people, how can you, uh, how about we go to the front, uh, to the courtyard and try to re, uh, trace our steps? That's what I was thinking. It's like, why don't you, like, go to the courtyard and then see where exactly you woke up to see, like, maybe you're far enough in the courtyard that you couldn't be seen. Because this is getting us nowhere and we're spending our energy on something more, we could be spending our energy on something more productive than this. Here, I woke up more or less here. I can't tell you the exact spot of myself, but I was a little short. Uh, I can't remember many details. Suspicious. Uh, this is uh, this is just a thought, but all of us were disorientated when we first woke up, weren't we? Could it possibly be that Miss Shira or Miss Marco? didn't wake up in the front yard like they think but in the backyard instead without realizing it whoa wait an interesting ob observation yona however this might be a contradiction in that theory hidden wall the locked door i think the locked door I don't think they made it to the back. Yeah, the locked door. Exactly. The hidden wall isn't much of an issue since it's visible on one side. The illusion doesn't work on a wall from the kitchen side. It's like a normal corridor from here. Meaning that either Marco or Shavra could have passed it without even noticing it. However, the locked door is another issue. Unless the door is initially open. In theory, someone could have had the key in their possession and locked it behind them right after or even later on. They could have locked the door without a key as well. Also a good observ observation. You know, she's trying what well, she's trying at, right? If you if we were stuck in to a theory that there are actually not one but two culprits, you would be the first suspect on the list. What? Don't give me that look. You're the one who managed to open up a lock in a f uh, few seconds flat. Uh, uh, locking it shouldn't be a... B it, locking and unlocking is completely different things. So, following this particular train of thought, you either in conspiracy with Marco or with me. And who the hell... Uh, said she couldn't be the conspiracy with both of you. Didn't, uh, didn't you stick together when you're investigating the mansion at the beginning? I knew something seemed weird about that on how you two were looking at each other. Wow, what the heck is you going on about? Um, Mr. Evers, I believe you must have misinterpreted some signs. If you're talking about the time that he was trying to hit on me, I had no part in it. What? I was not hitting on you. Oh, sure you aren't. Do you think I'm deaf and blind? You... You're being delusional. Forget I even brought it up. <laughs> Shit, did I go too far? You should follow him, Miss Ep Miss Shara. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. As long as you get your mind out of the gutter, huh? Don't even deny it. What the hell? Well, that was uh. Oh, he said no. So, um, that was stupid of me, kinda, you know, and stuff. So what I wanted to say is, there's blood here. 
I'm sorry? What? I said there's blood here. Look. Part of it seems to have sunken into the ground, but there's definitely some on the grass. Holy shit. No kidding? Blood? Oh dear, did someone get hurt here? Is it fresh? It doesn't seem to be too old. It smears when I touch it. Ew. Ephraim, you walked around here a lot. Did you not never notice it? I'm surprised this guy even did. It's all dark out here. The co the, the change in color is barely visible. Okay, I see your point. Could it be Shira's blood? Didn't you find me down in down in the basement though? Yeah, it doesn't wouldn't make much sense, would it? Maybe something simple died here before we even got here. I really hope nothing else is dying somewhere in the mansion while we're standing here debating about the weather. Yeah, let's hope it isn't the case. As for earlier, I'm surprised you're even worried about such trivial, uh, tri trivial things. Hey, hurting someone's feelings isn't something trivial. Do you believe something like that could have hurt my feelings? Seems like it, Jesus. So, we're cool? I appreciate you trusting me a tiny bit more, but I suppose. Uh, I'd appreciate you trusting me a tiny bit more. How am I supposed to trust someone when they're the shadiest character out of all of us? <laughs> yeah, that's true. It really breaks my heart when you see me that way, Shara. I can see that you're so heartbroken. You make the devils cry. <laughs> oh wow, it's like when I giggled and it's like all of a sudden he giggles. Like, hold on. Wait, something just occurred to me. What? Marco? When is it? Back in the kitchen. You said that you saw the barrier when you woke up. But you didn't get close to it, did you? How did you know we were trapped in here, then? That's the first logical thing to assume, you know? And I would, I would stick to that excuse, but the truth is... I'm actually familiar with this kind of barrier, that is. Why did you mention, why didn't you mention that earlier? See, that's what I mean, uh, I, uh, see what I mean when I said you're shady? You seem to be, um, to, to know too many things compared to us. <laughs> it's not like I do anything about it, can I? It's not like I can do anything about it. Yeah. I've kept quiet about it because I didn't want to worry you. Worry us? I already hate everywhere, everywhere this is going. I already hate everywhere. English is hard. I'm pretty sure I saw this barrier at least once in my life before, but from the outside. Go on. From my perspective, the barrier was up for around 10 minutes. For the person inside of it, almost a whole year passed. Holy shit. A whole year? Wait, that's crazy. You want to tell us uh, that time flows differently in here compared to outside the, the bubble? So in a sense, the rest of the world is waiting on us while we're in here. That would certainly explain the consistent night time. Wait, you're right. How much time have we spent here? The scenery hasn't changed at all. Hey, this is actually kind of cool when you think about it. Imagine waiting, uh, imagine wanting to master a spell or a work of art. You could work on it in a whole year and it'll only be a couple minutes in reality. Or other people would die in envy. 
Yeah, but wouldn't you still age like a year? So that means that you'd be actually aging faster because of that? Don't forget that meeting the barrier, you, you being a year older than everyone else though. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I didn't read it when I said it. Oh, right. So if I stay here for 50 years, I'll be all wrinkly and stuff. Yeah. You wouldn't actually. We wouldn't. Remember how I said I didn't want to worry you? A person has a limit on how long they can stay inside the barrier such as this. And while a single person can stay in here for a whole year, I'm not sure how it works the same way when, the per when there are more people inside at the same time. It actually may be less than that. Less, not more. Imagine sing uh, every single one of us having an uh, specific mana pool tied to our very being. The barrier uses the mana pool to keep itself sustained. With more people, more energy is needed so the mana drains faster. And that mana pool... As far as I'm aware, it's impossible to replenish it. Once you spent in your time and once you spent time inside your barrier until you reached your limit, that is. If you decided to stay or go outside of one of those ever again from that point on, you're in big trouble. Big trouble meaning well eventually you start to freeze and time yourself. What the shit? You could say the barrier starts to absorb you instead of your mana pool. You become part of the barrier, then disappear along with it when it dissolves. Essentially, you die. Oh no. How can we get out? That's the tricky part, because I have no idea. You have no idea? After all you told us now? I told you I didn't want to worry you. What am I supposed to say? Hey, better find a, a way out quick, otherwise we're all gonna die. <laughs> Please don't fight. Yes, calm down, you two. You're forgetting uh, that we have a lead. A shady, as it is, lead is. The soul stone. Well, that's great. Now our lives depend on this stupid piece of rock. <laughs> How long do we have? Calm down. You said a single person can stay inside the barrier for a year, but that time can be shortened uh, when there's more. Does that mean that two people can stay and it will be half of that year altogether? I'm not sure if that's how it really works, but it will be my best guess, best bet. But here are the six of us, so I can assume that we have a six time less than a single person and it will make it like two months. Of course, that's only a hypothesis, so... Well, then, let's hope that your hypothesis is right, and it's, n and it's not two days instead. Thank you for telling uh, us about this, Mr. Marco. Not that it's helped much, only put our minds in less ease. But now we know what the barrier itself, and we can direct our research accordingly. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty... Much. Okay, if you liked... Okay, you really like to hang around the library, don't you? Well, it's just that there's so many books in there. So much knowledge. It's fancy. It's fan... Fancy. I can't read. Fascinating. There we go. <laughs> to me. Thank you for being so helpful, you know. Uh, I, 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 keep, I keep changing her name. It's like, poor girl. I can't say her name. Yes, thank you for the hard work. It's nothing. Uh, going back to the matter at hand, I have a proposition to make. Let's search for that soul stone. If we manage to uh, find it in the next hour or two, um, we can call it a day and then try our luck again after getting some decent sleep. How about we... Okay, I'm kind of done now. It's also been about 24 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm done for now. But that's like, okay. I'm going to just save. Next slot. There you go. So I'm going to just upload this. Hopefully it'll get uploaded tomorrow. Alright. And also if you want to see more. You can always. 
you know, you know what to do. It's like whatever, do whatever, watch videos, subscribe or not, because also it can pop up in your recommendation. So don't really matter too much. All right, and that's it. Bye bye now.